Thank you, Neil. Next up is Deneen Borelli. Deneen is a fellow with Project 21, a network of black conservatives, which is the initiative of the National Center for Public Policy Research. She is also a fellow, a fellow with Freedom Works, and most important, she is a contributor to Fox News. You've probably seen her there. The amazing, the incredible, Deneen Borelli. and our liberties over a cliff. Don't you get it, America? Obama, Reid, Pelosi, they know what's best for you, for me, and our families. They expect us to keep quiet, sit down, and just pay those taxes. Are we going to keep quiet? movement. We make way too much noise. That's why they are trying to discredit us by calling us names. If you're white, you're a racist, you're a redneck. If you're black, you're a token, a traitor, and Uncle Tom. TV hosts and politicians have injected race into the Tea Party movement. MSNBC. Host Keith Oberman says... are a bunch of guys who are just looking for a reason to yell at a black president. <laughs> Representative Steve Cohen says Tea Party participants are kind of without robes and hoods. <laughs> Mr. Cohen, we don't have any robes or hoods. But let me remind you, Senator Robert Byrd had robes and hoods when he was in the KKK. And then there's Charlie Rangel, Harlem, New York, former chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee. Mr. Rangel said, you don't see any black folks in these groups ever, 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 ever. <laughs> Mr. Rangel, this color does not fade. <laughs> oh yeah, it's tax day. Let's remind Mr. Rangel to pay his taxes. is a losing game. It's old, it's tired, what else you got? So let's talk about government gone wild. Our country's national debt is over $11 trillion. Deficit over a trillion, a trillion dollars. And after racking up all this debt, now they want to tax everything. They're talking about adding a value added tax, a VAT. They're resurrecting the death tax. We have here petitions asking Congress 
to kill the death tax. <laughs> then there's Obamacare, a policy that we the people didn't want. And ask, speaking of we the people and Obamacare, the Constitution is a problem for some of our politicians. James Clyburn, South Carolina said, there's nothing in the Constitution that says that the federal government has anything to do with the most of the stuff that we do. <laughs> Phil Hare from Illinois said, I don't worry about the Constitution, to be honest. Well, Mr. Clyburn and Mr. Hare, we the people do worry about the Constitution, to be honest. Next up, I want to...